Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Crazy Town Inc. So, what we're doing here is building a community for artists, um, entertainers, and everyone who is kind of bored right now and just needs something to get their mind away from, you know, their stress and all the daily bullshit that everybody has to deal with. Um, so, to begin with, I just want you guys to show some support. And please hit that subscribe button. Um, it really motivates me when you guys do that. Um, when you comment, leave some positive input um, or like the video. Uh, anything that you know that you you decide or you think um, you really like about what I do, just please, please point it out. Um, it really helps me work on my skills, and um, it'll it'll make the channel have better quality um, overall. So um, I was sitting outside the other day. I know this sounds kind of weird. Like, what are you sitting outside next to a Dairy Queen um, fucking drive-thru? But I was sitting outside with my cousin, and there's a drive-thru for a Dairy Queen, an ice cream shop. And I saw the craziest shit, man. I saw someone pull up into the drive-thru going like 20 miles an hour with a truck that went up the fucking sidewalk on the grass they had and almost hit their microphone. No, I don't understand. I don't understand. It's ice cream. I don't understand. Like, do you want to eat? Okay, yeah, you want to eat, obviously. Do you want the microphone or speaker to work so you can communicate with people to get your food? Yeah, obviously you want you you, you know you want that to happen. Why are you going fucking twenty through a five miles per hour lane to, to uh, almost kill everybody? It's fucking ice cream, bro. Like what? Like America? It's ice cream. Of course, not all America. A lot of people have been eating healthy. And um, I'm really happy that people are taking good decisions regarding their bodies and their lifestyles. And I, uh, I hope it's not all bullshit. Um, so, yeah, that's that. Um, I also want to share with you uh, something that happened the other day when I was eating out uh, with my wife. Um, so we were at this like kind of like Coney Island place. It's just like a family restaurant. And um, we were sitting next to this table. So they were foreigners, right? Like they weren't American. They were white people, but they weren't American. So I'm assuming like they're, I don't, I, I can't put my finger on it. I think they're Albanian, or Albanian. Okay, that sounded weird. Albanian or Italian or something. But for some reason, they had a problem with Mickey Mouse. So, so they like they were putting their order in before we did because we had just sat down, and like the mother, she, like there was a dad, and a mom, and two kids. And the kids are like between like five and ten, I think. And so I think one of the kids wanted a, like a pancake, you know. And so the mother insisted that he doesn't get Mickey Mouse. Now I don't know what's going on with like the whole Albanian versus Mickey Mouse communities, but it's not a big deal, dude. Have your like let your fucking kid eat Mickey Mouse. It's fine. But she insisted that he doesn't get Mickey Mouse. She was like, "Do you have anything else?" And the waiter, or the waitress, I think, yeah, it was a waitress. She was so confused. She was like, I mean, yeah, we have, like, we, we can just give him a normal pancake. And she's like, no, no, I want something other than Mickey Mouse. And so, I just looked at my wife and I was like, man, what the fuck, dude? Like, Mickey Mouse is not even a big deal. But, I guess it is in Albania. <laughs> or Italy. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? It's just Mickey Mouse. Like, let your kid eat Mickey Mouse. It's fine. Um, anyways, yeah, and then, and then, so yeah, this place is kind of weird, like, a lot of, a lot of crazy shit happened in this place, because it was kind of, like, it was kind of, like, early in the morning, and not a lot of people were there, and so that table was there, and then, um, like, someone else was walking in, and I was facing the door, and as soon they, as they had walked in, this old man on a cane goes, like, he, he just, like, he opened the door, and he goes... You know, there's like a hostess. And he goes, I'll get water. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Bro, yeah, I, okay. Um, do you want to sit down first? He's like, I'll get water, no lemon. And this guy, mind you, dude. If, dude, imagine. Imagine this old guy, you know, kind of thick, on a cane, right? Just open the door to go eat in this family restaurant where there's like three, four tables... And the first thing he tells the hostess is, is, I'll get water. 
No lemon. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? <laughs> like, do you not have any water at home? What's going on? Where did you come from? <laughs> Bro, where did you come from where there's like no water or no, like I don't understand. And then you want no lemon, like she didn't even, dude, like the hostess was so confused. Where Like her face was just, it was priceless. It was like, she was, she was still debating subconsciously whether she should grab a menu or go get water, you know, and see him. <laughs> oh man. Oh God. I feel like people have reached like the ultimate like super mindset of like just individuality like it doesn't get more individuality than this like it doesn't get more I want to reflect myself upon the planet through my words and actions however I want to like that's kind of crazy dude uh, I really hope that you know the planet and people and everyone start working on, you know, their historical knowledge and about, like, how governments work and about how the system works and about how, how corporates work and how we can affect the community to make a better world for us and our kids. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I kind of want to end this, like, with a good message because there's a lot of shit that's been happening in America and um, and it's, it's, all, it's all going back into, like, the races and it's all going back into hatred and into, like, the most disgusting fucking shit, dude. Like, you can't hate on people and call it freedom of speech. No matter who you are. And I'm not taking sides with anyone. But I'm against... I'm against hate. And I'm against bullshit. And I'm against fucking... Like, the disregard of human life and human rights. I mean... Dude, spread love to begin with. I mean, this is this is for all my listeners. If if you today listen to this and want to get one good thing out of it, other than a little laugh, is spread the love. You know, if you see someone that's having a bad day, if you're having a bad day, I know it's hard because I deal with a lot of bullshit all the time. But I dig deep down inside and I find you know whatever makes me smile and happy. And to me, it's sarcasm. Like I feel like being sarcastic will get me through fucking life. And if you have to be sarcastic and funny and will entertain people, do it, dude. And if whatever you have to do that will make people laugh and feel appreciated, do it. Anyways, this concludes our show for the evening. I really hope everyone's enjoying this. Please leave some input, subscribe, and please follow my social media art pages that I have a link down below. Peace.